Lately, I have been in my <laughs> Elizabeth James era. <laughs> oh, I forgot how hot hot rollers are. That's fun. Wait, I'm not holding a cigarette. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm not mature enough for this. <laughs> I might go back to using hot rollers, you guys, to be totally honest, because these are really easy. RMS Beauty lip liner, my absolute favorite. This is Sunrise Nude. It's like a rosy peachy rose color. It's literally amazing for lip liner. Linda Lip Serum, which is probably my absolute favorite. I also have the Miranda in this lipstick, but this is like just ugh, amazing. There's something that's always been so whimsical about Elizabeth James. She exudes simplicity and such beauty with neutral colors a very demure color palette but like she showed all of us that less is more and I've loved dressing like her I have just loved channeling Elizabeth James and if you think about it my whole bedroom is channeling this neutral nude color palette letting the beauty of the motifs in my artwork shine through the greens and the neutrals are really the stars of the show here. I think that is even more invigorating. I mean, she conducted herself with so much grace, effortlessly. She was an actual boss. Everything she did was perfect. Do we remember the scene where she was um, in her studio with Annie and they were doing the photo shoot? Gosh, I just love that scene. I just remember being in complete adoration of the brand and the world that she curated at her studio. Gorgeous English factory dress. I love the sleeves on this one. This is another gorgeous nude option. And this is the white darling blazer. Excuse me, mirror. And I have to say, everything within my closet pretty much falls within that color scheme. I'm gonna pop the bow here. This is my beautiful darling garden party dress. Says on blazer with the bow poking out. It's just so much easier. It gives me a peace of mind when all of my pieces in my closet, they just, they're seamless. They go together well. It's really helpful with layering, which we all need to do this time of year when we have no idea what the temperature is going to be from day to day. The great thing is that when you've got a closet that kind of all coordinates together, Whenever you're layering, whenever you're stepping out, if you grab a jacket, if you grab another sweater, it all goes together and it all matches effortlessly and seamlessly. And I feel like that's part of something Elizabeth James was teaching us deep down. I do love this Trovata black dress. This is the perfect little black dress. If you're going anywhere fancy, it has a beautiful construction. Let me show you the shoes I put with this. These black toe point, Flats really take this dress to the next level. And I'm in love with Trovata. Everything they make is just easy and effortless. It's a really great silhouette if you're looking for something for literally every occasion. So what have we learned? In short, mother is mothering. I just wanna be more like Elizabeth James. I hope you've enjoyed this fun little quick version of a try on. I have had a blast. <laughs> I really do. I think if you curate a closet that is within a color palette that really works for you, especially for winter, especially for winter, but we're coming into spring. So we're about to be able to do all of the fun florals, but I've really enjoyed actually the hibernation season of the winter and the going into the neutrals and leaning into the nudes being more like Elizabeth James every day. I wanna show you something that I did late last night. Late, late, late last night. And my husband was like, why are you like this? <laughs> but I am determined that this will work. I can't believe I did this. I'll just show you. I took this orchid 
out of the pot that it came in. I saw this thing on Instagram, it's like a hack. And this woman was saying that orchids can grow perfectly well in just water. Like they don't need soil or anything. She showed a couple orchids that she had for years that were just in water, just the root system in water like this. So I'm trying it out. We will see how this goes. I have high hopes. I took this out of the pot that it came in, completely let all of the bark fall out. Side note, I have a YouTube subscriber who is an avid gardener, so please comment if you've heard of this and give me any kind of tips or tell me if I'm doing this wrong. But what I read online is that you have to completely wash the roots off. You don't have any bark on there because a lot of times orchids will come with bark and that's how they grow. They need that organic matter and the bark is how they grow. Um, so if you go from bark growing to water growing, you need to completely clean the roots off get all the bark off of the roots. So I did that, I ran, I literally held this and I ran it under the faucet. This was like at 1 a.m. last night. Steven came in, he goes, bye orchid, but I'm determined. So I tested all of the roots last night. There were a couple of dead roots, so I just pulled them out and they came out really easily. Then you kind of push them in to a little vase like this and then you have room temperature distilled water the water line is about here they're not drinking it they're not like swimming in it it's just it's in there and i'll replenish the water like every week or so in the beginning just while they're getting used to this kind of growth but i already see a new leaf so that's exciting so then what i've done on top of the roots in this little adorable mint julep is reindeer moss you can get bags of this at pikes i'll pop an image of it here because you can also get this on amazon the reindeer moss is incredible because and this can even go in your like in your outdoor urns if you have like a pretty um boxwood topiary but you're tired of looking at just the soil at the bottom of the urn put some beautiful reindeer moss or spanish moss i'll also pop a picture of that down and that will help lock in the moisture for your outdoor urns and you can use this moss in anything. So this is perfect. So obviously there's a lot of roots and they're not super chic looking. So what I've done is I came in and I just kind of started filling in with the reindeer moss and it doesn't take much. Like it does not take much for this to really just be so elevated and all of the little crevices and then there we have it and so I keep the orchid right here by the window in the studio that gets the most morning light because orchids love the morning light so um, I am really excited to see if this is gonna work because this woman made all these amazing claims on Insta she's had one for three years that comes back stronger and bigger so we shall see and if the next week's vlog, I'm coming at you crying about my orchids, we will know this did not work. But it's always fun to try stuff out like this, especially when it has the potential to be so much better than the alternative. Sometimes I sit over at this little table and work in times like now when my desk is covered in just painting supplies and it's that's just gonna stay like that for a minute. But y'all, I am shooketh. I am playing around with AI generated product photos. I cannot believe I can do this so easily on my website now. Like this is my first experience with AI of any kind and I'm like kind of shooketh. I need you to see how good these photos look. I'm gonna pop them on the screen here, but like, Oh my gosh, my art prints are going to look so fabulous once they're all done. Like I only have two for now, two art prints, and I've only been doing one prompt. All of these photos I'm showing you are just from one prompt. I haven't even played with other ideas. I'm just like getting used to the program, so I'm really impressed. Like I am very, very impressed. Oh my gosh, some of them are just spot on perfect. Some of them like, it's no bueno. Some of them it's like, no, you definitely missed the mark there. But you just keep regenerating and it learns what you like. So I'm very excited about that. I'm just, I've just been dabbling with this today. 
it's addictive. I, I must warn you, it is addictive. I can't wait to see how they're gonna look framed, hung, in their places. I'm so excited. It's generating new ones. This is so hard. Each one is better than the last. <laughs> this is how I think artists could benefit from AI. Truly, AI, does AI threaten artists? I don't think so because nothing can replace the human touch, the human imperfections, nothing can replace that. But where AI will help artists is in stuff like this and like product photography. I'm shook it. I, I could spend the rest of the day doing this, but I gotta finish painting. <laughs> All right, so I've got to a good stopping point with a couple of pieces. Um, the ribbon needs another layer. I'm still figuring out what to do with these flowers here. I think there's more shading that needs to happen. So that's one. There's still more to be done with this peony as well. I want it to be a little brighter up here. I'm just kind of playing around with the color and everything. So then the hydrangea. I'm really excited about the hydrangea. I think I'm gonna do another layer on the trellis border just so it pops. But what's so funny is, like I match my artwork. <laughs> it is St. Patrick's Day this weekend, and so we are going, I'm really excited about this. We're going to an Irish pub, and um, Stephen is playing with our dear friend Kate. They're doing like a really fun set, and it's outside, we've got some friends going, and I picked out this green block print dress from Etsy. It's a staple, um, but I thought I would show you what I'm planning on wearing because this is outside, it's a beautiful day. It's very Elizabeth James, I will say. This is what I intend to wear. I'm so excited, we've got some friends coming, we've got my mom there, Steven's parents are here. It's gonna be a good old time. I have like two layers of SPF on. <laughs> when Steven was leaving the house, I was like, do you have SPF on? And he was like, I'm Italian. Sometimes men just don't know how good they have it. <laughs> but yeah, this is my outfit. It's a it's a tried and true block print dress from Etsy. Um, I'm off to the gig. Let's go. That's the overall level. Yeah. <laughs> 